Oxygen is a passive diffuser inside your body. Right now, the atmosphere you're surrounded by has a pressure. That pressure is what's driving oxygen from the air into your lungs, and then ultimately from your lungs into circulation. Under normal atmospheric pressure, you're already saturating red blood cells 100%. And so we can't add any higher amounts of oxygen into our system because we can only carry in our red blood cells 100% saturation. That is until we change atmospheric pressure. And when you go into a hyperbaric chamber, that's what's happening. The hyperbaric chamber is creating a temporary increase in atmospheric pressure that's surrounding the person inside the chamber. And as a result, we're creating increased pressure of the gas. And so while at surface pressure, I'm fully saturated with oxygen, as I increase atmospheric pressure inside the chamber, I'm driving more oxygen into circulation. Now, again, I said you could only be 100% saturated in your red blood cells, so where does that extra oxygen go? It literally gets dissolved into the plasma of your blood and then ultimately into your other fluids, your interstitial fluid, your lymphatic fluid, your cerebral spinal fluid. And so all these other fluids inside your body ultimately are the carriers of oxygen under hyperbaric exposures.